Okay, in this video, I'm gonna show you end of day maintenance. And if you're going away for one or two days, uh, the wet capping process as well. Um, wet capping is part of your end of day process, um, but it is also uh, done for when you go away for a day or two uh, to leave it wet capped. So uh, without further ado, let's get started. The things you're gonna first need are moisturizer, water, a cup with water in it, and a couple of foam tips. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is just move your printer head all the way over to the left into the work bay area to clean your printer head. So just move that by pressing the left button. And then that will move your head all the way to your work area. Or now you can clean it. And now it leaves your capping station exposed for cleaning. Okay, so here's the capping station. You've got your wiper blades and your capping stations here. So the first thing you're going to want to do is take out your foam sponge, rinse it off, and wipe down your blades. I kind of wipe one side, then I'll flip it, and then wipe the inside of it. And then I'll give it a rinse, again squeezing out all the excess ink and stuff there. And just wiping the blades on each side. You kind of give it a good scrub. Sometimes in the bottom here, it collects white, so you can just give it a bit of a scrub in there and get all that dry white ink or any ink in there out. So now the wiper blades are done. Now I'm going to work on my capping station, just wiping around the sides and a little bit of the top rubber cap here, just giving it a wipe. All around. Like this. Yeah, just keep wiping until you can't see any more white ink already. Kind of cleans around with it. Because the step after this is moisturizing it. So right now we're just going to clean up all the ink and stuff on the sides of it. And if you notice down here around it, I've cut out um, some towel, uh, paper towel, or work towel, the shop towels. And um, you kind of cut out all the blades and these, and then the capping stations, and you just put it in between it all, and it collects anything extra. So again, just wiping these down. Okay. Now once you get these cleaned with regular water, you're going to want to grab your moisturizer. And just put a little bit inside it, on each side. Get a nice amount of moisturizer on there, and then you're going to do your blades. each side, moisturizing it, and then just around the capping station, give it a nice moisturizer around there. Again, just rinse it off, and then put more moisturizer if needed. Get some more moisturizer in it, wipe around the stations, like that. Once you get those all moisturized, you're going to want to 
grab a small piece of paper, paper towel or something. And there's a sensor here and you're just going to want to place something to cover that sensor. And what that sensor does is it just tells the head uh, where to stop and go. So we're just kind of giving it a trick right now. And then what you do from that point is you go onto your control panel on your printer and you hit function. And once you get function, you got different setup menu, go down to head maintenance, hit enter, then go down to fill ink, hit enter, and then four, all four or two if you have two heads, but this is a four head, so four head all, and then hit enter. And now your printer head won't move and it's going to trick this and now it's going to actually start sucking. So from this point, you're going to want to take your water. And what you're going to do with your water. is kind of fill up the capping stations and let, let it suck the water down. And at the same time, it's taking out any excess ink that's on top of this. And it's sucking it all down so that when we wet cap, it doesn't sit in ink. It sits in clean moisturizer. So we got our two colors at the back and the two front ones are our whites. So the color I find clean out a little bit better and quicker than the white. You got to work a little bit extra on the white but you just kind of keep on putting water into it, allowing it to suck down and suck all that excess ink out. Now in between, after 60 seconds, it stops. You can just add a bit of water in each one and see if any residue of ink's left. And if there is, just continue to kind of squeeze in there. I like to squeeze into the corners, each corner, because that's where the ink likes to hide. So you just kind of push it out of there and then it'll suck it into your, um, your waste tank. Get it in there, get a nice squirt. Okay, so once you've done that, Come back up to here and you hit clear data and then you just hit function to go back to your main status. Now once you have all that done, this is where the wet capping comes into play. So you're going to want to take your moisturizer and you're going to want to fill each capping station up. Just right to the brim. Right to the brim. Okay. Now we have a clean capping station and it is ready for wet capping the heads and keeping them nice and moist. So the next thing we do is we're going to move over to the actual heads and we're going to clean our heads before we actually return it to base and let it sit. Okay, so when cleaning around your heads, you're going to want to put a bit of moisturizer. onto your foam tip and um, it's not too bad here but you're going to want to clean these here and now you can give a bit of pressure as long as it's not touching the head just to get that ink and kind of scrub it out of there and if you have ink everywhere around here you can just sort of wash it out scrub it out scrub out around here just stay away from the head because we don't want to touch the head right now you got to be really gentle with your head but you can scrub and put a little bit more pressure around the sides of the head and that way you can get these nice and clean so again uh, you're just going to want to rinse it and then put a little more moisturizer and rinse it a little bit and then you can put a little bit more pressure here i'm pushing on the sides of these so again get in between here 
all in here if it's dirty make sure you get all this if there's ink all up there and you want to get these little square things or rectangular pieces of metal right beside them you don't really want to get those and don't be afraid to put pressure there pressure anywhere else except for the heads so once you have around there cleaned out you're going to want to really douse and soak your print head or your foam tip just soak it down really nice and now when you're cleaning the head ever so lightly or just gracefully bringing it one way and then one way and like that and then I flip it and I'll do the other head with the other side of the foam tip like that just nice and gracefully no pressure We did the colors, now we'll go to the whites. Nice and light, straight across. Nice and light. And then flip it to the other side, to the other moisturized side. Nice and light, and there we go. So now we've cleaned the outside of the head where you can give it a little more pressure and scrub. And then we've cleaned our heads nice and gracefully with the moisturizer. Again, soaking this with moisturizer. Okay, so now that we've uh, just finished our head, we're ready to return to base. And uh, so the first thing you're going to want to do is come over to your sensor and you're going to want to remove that paper or whatever you put in there to, to block the sensor. Remove that first, then come over to your main controls on your printer and hit base point. The capping station will go down and the head will move over to your wet capped station and it goes back up and in until next use so that is your end of day maintenance or if you're going away for a day or two you've got to keep those print heads wet capped and moisturized for your heads to last longer so um, that's it uh, thanks for watching uh, that's uh, wet capping and end of day maintenance uh, for your dtf printer